guys, I'm back to do another um, foundation review and I wanted to do something um, that is brand new to Sephora. Like literally it was on the website last month, like the last two weeks of the month and it's just starting to trickle in now in the actual stores. And it is the Kat Von D um, Powder Locket uh, Foundation, or excuse me, the Locket Powder Foundation, I can't talk. And I'm in the color Medium 53. Um, I never bought the original liquid of version of this, um, which is so popular. I had a sample of it, and I don't know if it was the wrong color or what. I just didn't love it, so um, I just decided to pass on it, especially with, since it was like ridiculous to try and find it in stores because the um, ingredients that they use in the Locket Foundation are like really hard to find or I don't know something like that but that's why in case you were ever wondering why um Sephora never had the the locket foundation in stock because the ingredients like didn't exist anymore so this is supposed to be a full coverage 24 hour wear transfer resistant matte finish fragrance free oil free for all skin types and this is um is 0.31 ounces or 9 grams um, I don't know how much is in the Studio Fix by MAC, um, that powder. You know, I'll put an annotation in it because I wanted to, uh, try and do a comparison, but I don't have, uh, the, uh, MAC one on hand in the right color anymore. I just have my winter color, NW, uh, NC20, so it'd be kind of silly. But, um... This was, I think, $33. It's, I believe it's the same price as the liquid foundation. So if you know that price, again, I'll put an annotation. I'm pretty sure it's $32 or $33. So um, this I found at the Santa Monica 3rd Street Promenade. If you're familiar with LA, this is where, that's where I found it. Um, that's the only place I've seen it that had the actual display and everything. So... Let me just go ahead and open the product. Now, the packaging, of course, as you would expect with Kat Von D, is like beautiful to die for gorgeous. And this is what it looks like. It's a nice metal, it's like a tin, and it has the key, uh, K, I can't talk, KVD. Um, and then it just has the rose designs, and in the back it just has the color. And then you open it, and it's really pretty. Here's the, there's a mirror here, as you can see, and then here's the color. And it's funny because the color looks lighter than what it is actually on your face. And then you open the bottom part, and there's a sponge. Yes, I use the sponge. That's how I'm going to apply it. Um, and there is another mirror here, which is pretty fun. Um, there's another mirror here, so that's the first in the packaging that I've seen. Actually, you know what? Is it a mirror or is it just a reflective? Well, actually, no, it's not a mirror. I lied. It's just a, the reflective surface of this part, which works perfectly fine as a mirror, which is really cool packaging. Good good job. Um, I never understood the concept of only having the mirror in one or the other. Anyways, so what um, they suggest is to use the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Concealer, which I already had in the color Medium 22. Medium 22 is slightly light for me right now, but it's like kind of one of the middle of the road shades. And this is in the uh, .58 fluid ounces. I need very little of this actually to go ahead and, and use. So the way you're supposed to use this to my understanding as um, Kat Von D explained it on the um, video that she made for Sephora, <clears throat> which you can go ahead and YouTube it, is you just put little dabs of the concealer where you need it, like under your eye and if you have any extra blemishes like I do. Um, then you just sweep the powder over it lightly and then you go over the extra spots that you need. I tried using it with the brush. I didn't love it with the brush. Um, the brush, because it's very um, finely milled, it the, kind of flew everywhere. And I felt like not very much product actually ended up on my skin. So I could try a different brush. I just tried a normal powder brush and it didn't work out for me. So later on I'll probably try a different brush. But right now I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good with applying it with the sponge. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the um, concealer. Take the little amount and just kind of go over the extra s spots that I need and it's so funny because even though they have Kat Von D doing this and of course she's freaking flawless and beautiful anyways she has like beautiful white skin just beautiful luminous glowing skin I hate her so much <laughs> but I love her and it's just so nice 
So as you can see this concealer works really well. FYI, I do really like this concealer. I had the Walmart version before I ever tried this. I used it twice and I freaking hated it. It was horrible. It was greasy. It was nasty. I'm pretty sure it made me break out. It was just awful. And this doesn't do any of that. So if you were ever wondering, I should do a comparison. I think I will. That'll be like my next video. I mean, you do that. I gotta dig it out. Do a comparison of the Walmart version and this one. So, I mean, I do have other major issues, but I'm going to see how much I can cover with just the powder without adding. Because if you add too much concealer um, or put this over foundation, the powder, I mean, it kind of becomes a little, excuse me, a little too cakey. So I'm just going to take this. And it's the same kind of sponge that you get with the MAC one. So if you have those lying around, there you go. So again, the color... Um, you know, it's a little lighter than what you would expect it to be. So go ahead and just kind of, I'm going to use this tin can, that way you can see that. I'm just going to lightly kind of spread it all over. And definitely blend it out. I'm not too sure about the color. I mean, it seems to match okay, but then sometimes I catch myself in a mirror and it looks like a little discolored from my neck. I could do speed because I didn't do it well enough. So you're just lightly sweeping all over. Did you get my channel? Right. Just bring the product down. And make sure it gets in my hairlines and my ears. It's just how I am with all my foundations. Okay, so as you can see, it did cover, but it didn't cover enough for my liking personally. So I'm just going to go back in and go over all the extra spots. Like my scarring and stuff. My only issue that I kind of have with this is that um, I feel like it, well, it oxidizes. That kind of goes without saying. Excuse me while I turn sideways. It goes without saying that it oxidizes. But also, um, I kind of feel like it doesn't stay the whole, it's a little splotchy, which is odd because it's a powder, it shouldn't be splotchy, but sometimes I feel like it looks like a different color, and so like I feel this looks like, and maybe I'm nuts, but see like right here, I feel like this area right here is slightly darker than this area is lighter, I don't know, I'm maybe I'm freaking nuts, but I just feel like it's not a consistent color. I don't know if it clings to something on your face, which is making it a different color. Anyway, so... Now, again, it's a powder, so it's going to look really powdery. Um, so what I would normally do is spray it with a setting spray, but I'm not going to just to show you the actual finish of the powder. So well, that's what the finished product looks like. And again, it's a nice powder. I like it. But do I like it better than MAC Fix Studio Fix uh, powder? Mmm. Mmm. I don't know. I kind of feel like I get better results with the MAC one. You know, it's just maybe I'm wanting to like this so much because I had a hard time finding it. Like, I literally had to go very out of my way to go find it. But, I mean, on camera, I'm sure it looks nice, but in person, I don't know. I feel like it could be better. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of torn on it. I do like it, but do I like it better? I'm not sure. I don't think so. And this is more expensive than the Max than the MAC one, just an FYI, and I, I'm pretty sure you do get more product with the MAC one. So I'll let you be the judge, um, I'll probably continue using it, but I don't know.
I'm not 100% sold on it. So that's my review on this. I'm not sold on it, but I, I'm okay with it. So I know it's kind of a cop-out review, <laughs> but I'm hoping, you know, you'll just go try it for yourself. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.